can see the game. Let's go. He stay behind. I think I have to increase the music maybe here. Huh? Yeah, oh. Is it German? Is that not but it's English? See, that's what you see language English, yeah? But that's German. So it's a uh, for lost person missing person okay vicky is missing no parking Uh, the the developers are from Germany, um, actually, and they did ask. Also, I don't get anything for that, but they sent me some info mail and asked if I would like to try out the demo. Um, so I I just thought, you know, and when we anyway have a demo evening, uh, we can give it a try. I have no clue how the game is. I I really don't know. I just thought we try it out and sure, well, take a look. Excuse me. Oh, hello there! A new face! Ha ha ha! You don't get so many visitors these days. I'm Laura Tanner. Is this Miss Pearson? Oh, please, call me Maggie. Welcome, welcome. Hank just called. I was expecting you already. Did you just arrive? Maggie about the incident? I actually got here last night. Something happened on the road. An accident. I spent last night in a police station. In a police station? You mean you slept there? Well, that's no place to spend your first night in Lapno Creek. Come on, I'll get us some tea. You can't even tell me what happened. This way now. I'm afraid I don't have coffee. I expect young folks prefer coffee, but I'm old and I drink tea. I drink tea? I love tea. Oh, you mean right? I really must getting old. You know, I can already tell Lapnum Creek is going to be good for you, Laura. It's so nice to have a visitor again. Hello, Buffre, how are you doing? Okay, we, can't, we can only walk. Also, there, so far, I can't. Jump or anything like that. You come in. Have a nice house, oder? Also, I would blow off. I know that's much more work, but I would love that this stuff is voice. No? Don't you think so? Um, okay, we have, we have lots of tea. Ask for iced tea. Come right up, take a seat. We sit where we want. Yeah. The house is very really cute. Ah, that's better. So you are right. So anything I would would have read, I would have read. 
Well, Dubnum Creek would be the perfect setting for Romans, don't you think? Be honest, be evasive, be blunt. This is to the full audio in English. Yeah, as I, so that's just my first, just started game, but you know what I mean? You have this oh, same music so far going on and we walk around uh, and we have conversations. So it would be, I think, add a lot more depth into the game um, if the characters are voice, at, at least for me. Um, I'm actually a novelist. I'm a reporter for the Clarion. I'm writing a series about all a small communities facing existential threat. Um, well, they don't come smaller than Lubnum Creek, I suppose. I know everyone and everything here. Ask about the resort. Tell me about the resort. Back when the spa was open, there was really nothing else like it. People came from everywhere. Even from the big city. Movie stars and Kennedys all running around the woods in their bathrobes. Wow, many, uh, maybe I'm writing my book about the wrong thing. It's so much quieter now, that's how I like it. Folks in Lapland Creek prefer to live in the present, you know? Sure. Except you all want to talk to everyone. There's the Bumo over in the Golden View Inn. The whole, the whole is pretty much moth ballad these days. Ah, so. Like, okay, there are lots of moths, which are okay, okay. Okay, Miss Harris is, uh, wants to talk to us, she's an artist. Well, Foster Lovell knows his place better than anyone apart from me. From the depths? But we haven't yet recorded any voiceover, which we hope to be able to do in nearly autumn. Okay, ah, so they, they are planning to do that? Okay, that's a good thing. Um, they talk a lot, right? You can feel them, maybe. I don't know if this altitude or very round shudders through the pines. Maybe it's cosmetic rays. I couldn't tell you, but Lovedon Creek does something to people. It's doing its thing to you right now, and you're going to feel much better soon. I can't wait. Now let's go get you unpacked. So you received a warm welcome? I'd say so. Maggie was very nice to me. I fixed up a cabin and I was able to get some rest. Wow, that sounds pretty good. The next day I had a look around Lapnum Creek. That's a pretty place, huh? No? Also, such a nice day. I would not sit there with long trousers and a jacket and a t-shirt. I think it's pretty warm, oder? No? Also. And the character is walking pretty stiff. But I guess it's maybe meant to be. To be... I don't know. Enjoy the surrounding. Okay. Yeah. The map? Oh, there's lots of stuff. But well, then we can go everywhere. Okay. Then we can't run. It's max speed. In the map? What should I do? They have air condition. Do you see that? They are on top. Oh ha. So I guess it's getting warm. Is it a kind of a walking simulator game? I'm not sure why I have to on the map all the time. They renamed the game? How was it how was it called before?
But the little cabins are really cute. I can tell you. My PC has to work hard for this game. As a, you know, usually I don't hear my PC not at all for this one, for the demo. Uh, he seems to work a lot. And it's just medium graphics. Yeah, also I'm not sure if it's a game for me. Um, to be honest, just because as we walk around and have to talk a lot, uh, but it, I don't know if there are like any other gameplay elements involved besides of, you know, like uh, for sure an interesting story and um, talking to people and maybe find out what's going on in this Park? Or should we just port somewhere? Okay, we can port immediately via the map. I did now go to the store. Hmm. Close. Close in. Oh, they look really like tourist information, which I saw in Canada. They're, they're pretty much like that, yeah. This is the center was open, but nobody was around. Must have been where the missing woman Vicky Price worked. Laura's van. The music is also gone, oder? Hmm. All the buildings were bought up. Also, I think the game would... Would... Also, I, I mean, you said there will be voice lines. I think the game would... Tremendously get better if um, if there would be a narrator maybe who's like you know that she's telling her own story. I think it would feel give much more atmosphere at least for me that I want to follow along. And I mean there's sometimes some some text, but yeah. <laughs> and I guess now we talk with some kind of psychiatrist or so. Um, yeah, from there, yeah. <laughs> But, but you know what I mean. As I think since this is a story-driven game, um, mainly how, how it looks like, um, and that you want to unfold the story and find out what's going on, I think it would... Uh, yeah, it would help a lot to get uh, a narrator, a good narrator, um, and, and that the stuff is voice, um, in my opinion. Yeah. I'm not sure if it would be a game for me still, as even so it's voice and stuff like that, because it, as I said, it seems like there's not many gameplay elements around, which um, I like a lot. So, but I know many of you really like, you know, like story, as I also like story driven games, but um, you know, these games which are called walking simulators and stuff like that, or novels. So I, I, I also my feeling is for now this game is something like that but i could be wrong i don't know i have really no clue you know like an interactive novel you know something like that that was a good description thank you for helping also i have a feeling that this the game is unfolding like that that there's a mystery going on in this park there are people missing and you know and stuff like that and we will find out or want to find out what's going on or what happened um yeah, so that's that's my feeling about the game. So maybe you give it a try, guys. Go and play the demo and, and see for yourself. And you can let me know how you like the game. 
We Stay Behind ist ein Interactive Mystery Short Story about repressed trauma and buried secrets. Oh, okay. That was not so wrong. Thank you. 